Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Tuesday, April 9th, 2019. I am the Drunk Poker Guru. It is beer time. So I get home from work, and it's cloudy and cold and bleh. I'm like, okay, we're going to go sit downstairs. And then, for whatever reason, I come outside. It's still a little cold. It's a little bit of a wind out here. It's like maybe 10, 10 degrees, 9 degrees. Um, the sun came out, and I'm like, well, sit on the patio for a little bit then. I'm barbecuing. I got the barbecue on. We're going to make some chicken. And I thought to myself, well, I need a beer. So from Perth Brewery comes Calypso IPA, 4.8%, 42 IBUs. It is billed as a West Coast Session IPA. You know I like my West Coast beers. Let's try it out. I've had a few things from Perth. I want to say a black lager, but I'm probably wrong. But I had a few things from Perth and enjoyed them. Um, I, I like finding beers from all over Ontario at the LCBO. Um, it's always fun. I mean, you know, save a trip, save a driving trip. Opener from yesterday. Got to take that with me, put it inside before it gets ruined. Um, bit of a cloudy pour, nice fluffy white head. Okay, let's give her, give her a sniff. Smells nice, some pininess, uh, stone fruit, maybe a little grapefruit pineapple. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, cheers to Sunshine Patio Beers. Listen, I'll stay out here all summer if you want. If it helps, I will stay out here and drink all summer long. Cheers. Okay. Okay. Session IPA, so you're going to get a little thinner in the body than, you know, a regular big IPA, but you're talking... Um, I'd say cracker, biscuity, toasted malt body, definitely some grapefruit pith, uh, pineapple, stone fruit, maybe a little lemon lime in there too, and definitely pine on the back end, a bitter pine, not crazy resinous, big, bitter pine, but a nice bitter pine for a session IPA. It's actually pretty decent. And that's, I mean, when you're looking at that lower EBV, barbecue, whatever you want to have two beers, <laughs> two beers, so two beers always. Um, but no, it's, it's not that bad. I mean, there's people who don't like session beers because they're too low in ABV, but I mean, really, this is 4.8 four is not that low. 4.8 is kind of in that realm of 5, which is a normal beer, so I like it. Uh, if you like session IPAs, you're definitely going to swing to this one. It is a little more bitter than some of the other ones. It's got a bit of a nice tropical fruitiness to it. Eh, you know what? I'm, I'm loving the, the lower ABV options. I know there's going to be a lot of them this year, a lot of things we're going to talk about in this, in this, in this group. Um, this seems to be the, the, the growing trend that breweries are releasing these session beers to the LCBO, and it, obviously there is a demand for it, or they wouldn't be showing up. So look for this one. Can's beautiful, and who wouldn't want to be on a tropical island right now? I mean, I would be. It's still not that great out here. I mean, it's sunny. It's gone up a couple degrees. A couple more weeks, the grotto will be up. We'll be filling the pool. Until then, my friends, stay thirsty. And as always, I remain your dr faithful drunk poker root, telling you the truth. And while well, drinking beer while I do it. Cheers. I mean, that guy's retired now, so I can be the new stay thirsty guy and we just drink craft beer. That works for me.